Hey, we're here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. We're going through the boxes and my massive, massive damages. In case you missed the last part, look at all those hulks that are damaged. There's so much stuff that's damaged uh, this week. You got that stack right there, and then from there on down, damages. Damages, damages, damages. Will Diamond learn? Will Diamond take care of these damages? This, it's an easy fix and needs to be taken care of. Got cover from Brian Bendis. Got War Bears from Dark Horse. Logo's at the top like it should be. Thank you. Thank you, Dark Horse. Amazing Spider-Man second printing on number two. Got Vamp Blade. Got, there's a naughty cover here. Cover up naughty bits. Got a customer that will like that, so it's getting set aside for him. Let's check to see the rest of the comics on this other side. The rest of my Star Wars. Sixteen. There's the other covers to Bully Wars. This is the uncensored version. Project Superpowers. That there's that cover there. Unnatural, so it looks like some non-naturals are not damaged. So at least I have some of these for sale. I can actually sell some. Got another James Bond cover. Remember, I've got covers A, B, D, and F. This is cover E. I'm retaining this knowledge. You don't have to, I don't have to go back and, and check. Green Lanterns, number 54, the Virgin cover. Those are all okay. Looks like I've got a few more. Green Lantern 40. Green Lantern number 54 is in here. We got one more. So it gives me what? Eight? Eight is it? Eight. Eight is enough. We've got the Harley Quinn covers by the great Frank Cho. Look at that. Look at that cover. Lots of great cross hatching in that cover. Let me tell you. I've got eight on those as well. We've got some more unnatural covers. These appear to be okay. These are the censored issues. I could swear I ordered a lot less of the censored issues, but that's okay. Somebody at Diamond probably you know, made an honest mistake. Got Snot Girl. Got the rest of my Dr. Aflac annuals. I know it's not Dr. Aflac, but that's what I call her. Got the Leviathan. Got some crazy Triceratops on the front there. Luckily, my other Leviathans were not damaged. Like so many more of my comics were damaged this week. You got the Jinx World samplers. These are a buck. These things couldn't have been damaged, could they? Because I'm sure if these were damaged, people would take them anyways for being just a dollar. Got more copies of Cover with uh, David Mack. Nice to see David Mack doing work once again. Six copies of that. I think this box is done. Nope. I've got 
two more copies of cover with the David Mack cover. No pun intended. Okay. Now, I'm saving the best to last, the next box, the last box, seems to be the most damaged box. So, how bad is this going to be? We shall find out. Take a look here. It's cut right to it. Huh, look at that. Yeah, this makes me very pleased. Got an extremely large bill this week. What better way of me covering that bill than to have 40% of my comics trashed? There we go. All these turtles, urban legends, trashed. Last siege, trashed. Only good thing about these Batman little Gotham's, these are uh, giveaways for Batman Day. I gotta make a flyer for that. I gotta make a flyer for the shop's sale. It's okay, I've made flyers before. It's no big deal. I've made flyers long since before some people were even, even born. But all those are damaged. All these Walking Deads have some sort of damage to them. I'll be able to sell some tomorrow, but a lot of my Walking Dead customers are going to pass. Again, these are giveaways. You can tell that these are damaged, but good thing they're giveaways. Transformers, damaged. Server Surfer Annuals, damaged. Straight Bullets, damaged. The only good thing about the straight bullets is the customer that's gonna that's getting those, they're going to read them. So being damaged is not a big issue for them. So I will be able to sell sell those. Now let's see how the rest of this box pans out. Yes. Batman's damaged all these Batmans all my Batmans are damaged damn near all my Batmans were damaged these green arrows eh, they're passable I don't like it but they are passable there might be just a scant few of these Batmans that may I may be able to to justify. Hopefully that was the worst of the box. But again, how am I supposed to sell these? Diamond, Steve Jeppy. How am I supposed to sell these, Steve? Could you sell these? Would your customers? Wait, wait a second, I'm your customer. I'm not happy. No, I'm not happy. Not happy with those in any way, shape, or form. No, sir. Not happy. Here's the rest of these Batman Little Gothams. Again, if you're going to have damaged copies, have these things be damaged. Have the giveaway books be damaged. Got the unnatural, got to cover up the naughty bits. Got quite a few of those. At least those are not damaged. I'm sure that's going to be a hot book tomorrow. People are, want that, that hotness, that hot unnaturalness. Got the Ben Riley Scarlet Spiders. 
these are okay. The raid, that is okay. Got the rest of the Harley Quinn covers. These are okay. Vamp Rod, Rodica cover, it's okay or okay enough. I should put it that way. It's okay enough. Not happy with it, but again, you can't call them all damaged, right? You have to accept some of them. I can swear this is the cover that was redone by Larson. Very well might have been. Got an Elric cover there. Another Elric book. Got the other Justice League covers. These are okay. We'll set those aside. The Jim Lee Superman covers. Let's pull the rest of these out. And the rest of these are okay. So, only had one side that was badly damaged. But it was bad enough. This is one of the worst weeks for damages in a long, 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 long time. Okay, you've got the you might you don't know what this is. Look, it's 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 peppermint. No, it's the death of inhumans. So at least my variant covers were okay. Most of all my other covers were damaged. Hey, I've got a variant copy of As Guardians of the Galaxy I can put out. I wonder if everybody would be happy paying the price. I'll I'll be asking for that one. It's like the only copy here. You have to pay that price. And they're like, no, we don't. No, we don't. Outpost zero. I think we just put a uh, put a poster in the window of that. I do believe or a poster inside here. Uh, I'd have to check. I'm pretty sure it was. Put in the window, as per requested. Uh, no, no, I was put elsewhere. And I see the poster in the door. I'm gonna have to re, I'm gonna have to re, re put that. So it's it's centered. I gotta, I gotta center that poster in the door. It should be centered, I believe. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Should this not? Shouldn't that not be centered? That should be centered. But that's just that's just the way I think. I think how things should look best. But that's probably just just nitpicking. Cosmic Ghost Rider. These copies are okay. So at least I've got some copies that are okay. And it looks like he's riding a giant Starro. Is that supposed to be Starro? I think, I think it might supposed to be Star. Got Green Lanterns 54. I love the fact that DC is putting word balloons on their comics again. Word balloons are, are cool, whether you think so or not. They are cool. There's a, another Transformers, and we got some spawns. Set these aside for a couple of customers. They'll be very happy. Got the Virgin cover of Leviathan. Somebody's going to be happy about that. Let's see. James Bond Origin. Let's see. I've got covers A, B, D, E, and F. This is probably C. Look at that. I can retain. I retain that. I remembered. it. How about that? Dark Arc. You've got Ghost Rider on a flaming woolly mammoth.
However, I do see some copies that are damaged here. Got to call them as I see them. These are not copies that my customer base would be happy with. So at least five of these are damaged. Okay, at least five are damaged. Leaves 20. Leaves me 25. I can certainly call that, but I won't. Got any clips? I'm going to have to cut back on this. I had a pull and hold customer, uh, a quote unquote very good pull and hold customer who decided to burn me with his pull and holds. So after about four weeks, I decided this guy's not coming in anymore. So I gotta cut my orders back now. It's too hard to call, call your comic shop and say, hey, you know what, could you stop pulling? I can't come in anymore. You know, that people, sadly, people think that you're gonna get upset. I'm not gonna get upset with you canceling your pulls. I am gonna get upset when I finally decide you are not coming here any longer and I've, I've eaten a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars worth of merchandise. That's when I'm going to get upset. I wonder if said person would be upset if where he works, his factory where he works, if they uh, said, yeah, we're going to need you this week. We have you come in and work and you go to get paid. You know what? We thought about it. Eh, we really probably couldn't use you for that, so we're not going to. We're not going to uh, pay you for the time that you're here. We were going to, but we decided we don't need you here anymore. That's kind of what happens with the with the comics, with uh, people with the pull and holds when they burn you on that. Okay, we've got Batman White Knight. This is the giveaway for Batman Day. So again, it wouldn't be too bad if those were damaged, but they're not damaged, so those are okay. Go through the rest of these. Got Lady Mechanica. I'm not sure if this is the regular issue or if this is the this is cover A. Now I've only got one copy. There's copies missing, but I'll put that aside for a customer. That needs to get set aside for a customer also. And look. That lady, this was in the middle of these Lady Mechanicas. Look how good that is. Somebody should have micromanaged them. Because people need to be micromanaged. Sad, but you got to micromanage people. The littlest tasks you expect them to do, they cannot do. Unless you are there with your foot up their ass. And I've got five copies of Lady Mechanica that's missing. I don't have to look on my invoice to know that. There's more copies of The Last Siege. These appear to be okay. Got some Spider-Man game variant covers. These are one in tens. Got some Captain America. Cosmic Ghost Riders. So more Captain Americas. Got Relay number three. This appears to be way too many copies. I think I cut my orders way back with the next issue, which is too bad. I like uh, Aftershock. They're a good company, but unfortunately if people are not buying the product, you can't continue to buy, buy and push the product. That's just a fact of life there. Let's see, I wonder if the rest of my Lady Mechanicas are in this box. Again, the final issue of Ant-Man and Wasp. This sold uh, very little copies, no pun intended. The rest of my Vaporoticas, that great purple. Yeah, purple, that purple pops, man. Mainstream, this is for a customer. We've got the other Spawn covers being set aside for customers. Dead Hand. The only reason I know it's dead hand is because I read, but you wouldn't know what this is. Is that Starman? That's basically Starman. Maybe that's Mr. Terrific. No, it's dead hand. 
Okay, we've got the Dreaming blank cover. Well, just one copy of that. Urban Legends variant cover right there. Got the blank cover for cover. No pun intended, but the blank cover cover. The other cover is Snot Girl. I've got my two copies of Snot Girl. New Pestilence, the story of Satan from Aftershock. Another Project Superpowers cover. You've got, what book is this? What book is this? Can you tell? Can you tell me what book this is? Oh, it's Elric, the White Wolf. I guess I should have known because there is a White Wolf on the front. I'm not, uh, I'm not very smart that way. Here's blank cover to United States of Murder. Day 165 being set aside for a customer from Monroe. More Batman White Knight. Free Batman Day editions. Pull the rest of these out. Take a look, see. And the rest of these are okay. There's a cover from Coffin Comics. It's got a naughty cover on it. Can't show that. Let's see. Those are the rest of the Batman White Knights that we bought to give away. Comic shops uh, buy these comics that they give away. New Call of Duty Zombies. New Ghostbusters. The other cover, got one cover already. Now these Star Wars covers were okay, so I do have some variants that are okay. And the rest of my Lady Mechanicas, I've got my other five covers. So that is this week. Now damages, in case you're keeping track, this stack here and from there up, and this stack as well, all damaged, all damaged. Uh, you get another big flagging F there, Diamond, and so do you, UPS. Look at this. Come on. Come on, Diamond. Fix this. Come on, Steve Jeppy. Look at this. Look at these boxes. Dude, come on. Have some pride in the company, man. Have some pride in your company. You do not want me to show up in, in April at that sales conference in Chicago. You do not. I'm thinking about it. I haven't gone. I'm thinking about it. But you do not want me to show up. I am going to rip into you guys like you have not been ripped into before. Been doing this yesterday. It was my 33rd anniversary. 33 years I've been putting, I've been dealing with. And just the last few years is the worst that it's been. Come on. Come on. You guys have been around longer than that. You've got 30 years here, but you guys have been around more than 35 years. Come on. You guys just starting out? Are you brand new? You're not brand new. But if you guys like these videos, certainly subscribe and share. Please share this video. I implore everybody, share this video. If you watch this video, click share. Share it on Facebook. Share it wherever you can. Share it. Diamond needs to be embarrassed by this. This is an embarrassment. This is an embarrassment. I can't sell these books. I can't sell these books. But you know what? That check I write for them sure as hell is going to be cashed. I'm sure as hell responsible for that check. That check balance bounces. Guess what? Guess who's going to be up my ass? That's right, Diamond. But they don't want to hear, well, I had stuff that was damaged I couldn't hear. Oh, your check bounced, mister. Well, but I had stuff I couldn't sell. Your check bounced, you know, but my check's not going to bounce. But shops that's whose check bounces because of this, I feel for you. I feel for you, brothers and sisters, because you can't sell product like this. But you're responsible for the product like this. Diamond. Big F. Big F. But if you like this, like I said, 
subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and share. Share the living hell out of this video. Thank you. Have a great new comics day tomorrow on September 5th, 2018.